次建功嘅時候準備多啲，著數啲。我仲係覺得自己好失敗。其實你都唔係咁中意呢份工噶啦，走啦。<笑>我想話俾阿媽聽咧，我今日六點鐘先翻屋企啊！拜拜。Come on, Kelvin. 嚇咩啊 ？Say it again in your own words. You are going to get an interview. You know that, don't you? So come on, let's hear you. Um. Well, a crowd consulting means helping organisations. Re-engineer or rethink the way they do business. They know all that. They wrote it. They want to hear what you have to say. I haven't got anything to say. Listen. I think I can play a valuable role in your company because Crown Consulting helps organizations redesign the way they do business by bringing technology into the whole business process. Often the technological side of a business is kept separate. I've seen it happen, and I'm interested in helping to bring the technology right into the main part of the business, to let people know what they can really do with it, to make it work for the company as a whole on all levels. Wow! Now you try. Can you say again? No. Come on. I can't. Try. Let's have another look. No. You will only start reading it again. Ah. What time's Angela coming back? Concentrate. Um, I think I can play a variable role in your company because crowd consulting helps organization redesign the way they do business by bringing technology into the whole business process. Often, the technological side of a business is kept separate. I've seen it happen, and I'm interested in helping to bring technology right into the main part of the business, to let the people know what they can really do with it, to make it work for the company as a whole on all levels. Where have you seen it happening? Uh, sorry. You said you have seen companies where technology has been separated from the whole business process. I just wondered where that was. Uh, yes, the summer before. I worked for Moving Mountains Industries, and after I was there for some days, I was very surprised. Why? Um, the company is responsible for some major infrastructure projects in China and Indonesia and other places. They are a big company, but their information systems were so basic. Really? What was your job there? I was helping to set up some basic systems for the general office. Mainly、um, web processing and email, but I could see they were using filing cabinets for everything. Very old-fashioned. Come and go to the, you know,、um, filing cabinet all the time. You could see the desks covered in paper. I couldn't believe it. No data bank, nothing. Why? So I asked them, why not set up a comprehensive data bank? It can contain coverage on all aspects of your company work. No need for all these filing cabinets, and、um, you can use this for so many things:、um, analysis, organization, budgeting. 
make everything more efficient. What did they say? They were so busy, and I was a student just working in my vacation. You were too junior. I think so, and maybe they don't want to listen to me. And also, I think they like the always. Sometimes, people don't like to change so much. They like to stick with what they know. And they said it was expensive to do so, to install the new system. But I said to them, if they let me to install a database, the money would not be as much as the money they need for new filing cabinets and new staff to come and go to the filing cabinets. You said that? Yes. Did they buy that idea? Buy? Um, did they listen to you? I don't think so. Amazing. You would have thought they would have jumped at the idea of having someone help out in the way you suggested. Well, I thought, okay, I'll show them a little bit, let them see. I used a false pro package and created different files on different aspects of the company's work. Past clients, supply sources, cost indexes. One of the people there, uh, working there, was a friend of my brother's. He helped me get some information, not secrets, just general information. When I finished, I showed one of the managers and he told some of the others to have a look. And they said I could continue what I was doing. So you convinced him? Yes, and I showed them how I can create a memo field so it could allow people to make comments. Last summer you worked as a part-time clerk at Mayhew Stein International. Uh, yes. How about what you saw there? Was there a separation between technology and the business process? No, it was very good, very good. Mayhew Stein, they're one of our clients, aren't they? Glad to hear everything was okay. Very efficient company. All the technology, very modern. Very good communication systems. Yes, I remember. We recommended installation of some pretty effective cross-platform software there. Risk-based computers, very effective. So did you enjoy working there? Yes, I enjoyed my work. I can learn a lot of things. You're just about to finish three years at university. Yes. What would you say you've got out of it? What have you learned? I've learned many things. Your degree is in engineering, isn't it? <laughs> I hope so. Well, I was assuming you'd pass. Think you would get first class honors? First class honors? Um, I don't think so. Maybe. Upper second? Maybe. But can you use what you've learned if you come and work with us? I think so. In what way? I think I can be very useful, particularly in the technological session. And I have good relevant work experience. Miss Wong, please call me Angela. Angela, are you the same person now as you were on your first day at university? No, I was much better then. <laughs> Anything else? When I first started university, all I knew was that I wanted to get a degree. I chose business studies because, well, to be honest, everyone wanted to do business because they thought that was the way to make money. <laughs> but then, after I started the course, and with my summer work experience, I found that I was really interested in what I was studying. Uh, personnel management, marketing, information management, even the financial and legal side of things. I see. Before that, I thought business was just about money. But I came to realize it was about a lot more than that. More than anything else, it was about people. That's what I like. Meeting people, talking to people, helping people. So you become more focused and motivated? Definitely. How else have you changed? I know more about life, about people. When I 
worked for the social department a few summers ago as a volunteer, I saw how really poor people lived. People with no homes, people with no money at all. It opened my eyes. Do you think the system has let them down? They had nothing. I felt really sorry for them, that's all. Why do you think they had nothing? They were poor people. They didn't have any education or training. Were the social services arranging training programs for them? They were trying to. So, what do you learn from all that? Next summer, I had a job with Mattel and Finby as temporary marketing assistant. I worked in a very modern office on the 20th floor of a high rise in Central, uh, the Shantung Center. It was a great job and I learned a lot. But whenever I looked out of the window, I didn't just see a lot of tall modern buildings. I also knew that out there were people with no homes to go to. And what difference did that make? It didn't affect the way I did my job. It just, uh, well, I just felt that I couldn't take things for granted, I suppose. Have you ever thought of going into the social services as a career? Yes, but in the end, I don't think I would have the deep down commitment I think you need. It was good as a summer job, good to open my eyes to something I might never have seen. But I really want to go into business, into management. That's why I've applied for this job.